Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hari ini lecture today lecture on uh, oral presentation. So learning outcome, understand different types of presentation, able to prepare research. Semua lah, ya. Okay. This is uh, my lecture and focus on this topic. It's good enough for you to learn for your learning lesson today lah. Yeah. Of course, you need to read more lah. Yeah. Okay, presentation. So, dia orang dah ada acronym ni, presentation. P tu, preparation. R, research. E, effective. S, structure. E, equipment. And so on lah. Yeah. So, an oral presentation is one, two group encounter. Lectures, seminar, talks, oral report and so on lah. Yeah. Uh, so oral lah Artinya Percakapan eh? Bukan tulisan ya eh? Oral mean Percakapan So purpose of uh, presentation uh, Satu is to persuade uh, apa, ma apa maksud What is meaning to persuade Persuade here is to persuade Yang you presentkan to the group people Katalah sekarang kat college ni Kita akan panggil you student buat presentation on your uh, assignment ke, on your project paper ke to the lecturers. Uh, lecturer ada tiga empat orang lah misalnya. Kan? So you punya presentation on your assignment tadi, on your project paper tadi, uh, what is your story on the, you want to present in the project paper tadi is to persuade. The panel tadi, lecturer tadi Tiga orang ke empat orang tadi To accept you punya Presentation What that you want to present What that you want to them to understand What that you want to them to learn From your presentation So your idea is to Tell them That means to persuade them To understand What that you are presenting uh, That is what is we call persuade Apa yang you nak persuade to make them understand apa yang you present also yes it is to inform lah uh, untuk maklumkan kepada mereka all the facts fakta-fakta yang dalam you punya presentation tadi and then in the last of your presentation normally kita akan suruh you buat recommendation uh, what is your topic is all about what is your story is all about what is the problem is all about in the end you must have your recommendation if there's a problem on your on your subject matter tadi yang you present what is the your recommendation to solve the problem and then that recommendation that you need to convince the uh, panel tadi the lecturers tadi that your recommendation too is acceptable to them yeah or it's a combination of all of them lah yeah kadang-kadang uh, just for only one but sometimes all the three question yang kita sebut tu lah yeah? depend on what <coughs> the presentation needs you to do lah yeah? uh, so it can be many ways lah yeah? <coughs> so it helps to increase personal influence and visibility which are important to managerial process yeah? So, import presentation is very important. Terutamanya lah, <coughs> when you working, you start working for your company. So, your manager, your boss will ask you to give presentation on certain problem ada yang happening in the company or in the organization. So, you need to prepare to make sure the, the problem is visibility, terang-terang. Apakah masalah yang you present tu So that you punya presentation And in the end maybe Your recommendation, your solution tu That can be accepted by the, important, uh, by the manager So that will be uh, good for The managerial process and success of the problem eh? So that is the important thing lah eh? yeah? Uh, present an opportunity to demonstrate your expertise and leadership ability. Uh, you understand, yeah? 
once your presentation one part satu the way you present that will make whether you are going to be a good worker or not good worker for the company so the manager yang so you present ni not only assess atau menilai assess your presentation of the subject matter which the uh, situation atau problem that you are handling or you are supposed to give the presentation but also the boss your boss ni will evaluate your ability your demonstration of your presentation will give him the confidence whether you are a good uh, worker or not whether you are capable worker or not uh, this is good opportunity for you because for your future uh, kenaik kampang card your progression inside the company that will uh, be added to your advantage uh, so sometimes uh, people don't like when they ask presentation takut lah malu lah segan lah actually is a good opportunity for you if you were asked to do a presentation to you should not only you can present the matter at hand but also show your metal show you punya uh, ke kemampuan ability yang uh, leadership yang baik yang mungkin akan help you to uh, promotion in the organization yeah so please understand importance of these two things yeah uh, to facilitate better decision making of course the presentation tadi when your boss asks you to present certain problem issues uh, then suggestion in your department in your area that will help the boss to make uh, better decision making making and faster sebab your boss or your manager may not understand your section punya problem your department punya problem okay okay here uh, we have this presentation planning to I dah tunjuk tadi yeah the step process of developing oral presentation yeah uh, so you have to plan uh, for you have to plan what you plan you may analyze the situation katalah you need to do a presentation in your department uh, always uh, your staff uh, datang lambat kerja simple lah I mean I give simple example uh, always come late you got 20 people working under you you are the supervisor misalnya in the department in any kind of organization lah yeah then these people 8 out of 10 always come late every day so number satu you have to analyze the situation kenapa dia datang lewat hari-hari tak ada kereta ke tak ada motor ke bus lambat ke kereta api lambat all kind of thing so that is your part of analyze and gather the information and then select the right medium you nak gunakan cara macam mana you get this information through interview with them or you do sendiri buat uh, again information through other parties or kind of thing that is your medium cara you nak dapat uh, information tadi yang you gather and then you organize the information uh, then with all the feedback information you dapat then you buat lah ni satu uh, organize uh, your information so that uh, you can get it ready all information for you to go the next step to write uh, to write the information on the problem of late comma uh, misalnya lah kan problem of your late comma in the department contoh lah simple lah give you kan and then adapt to your audience uh, then you nak present ni pada siapa audience ni siapa manager ke or any directors of the company ke siapa tu uh, if one person okey lah mungkin ramai pula manager lah assistant manager pun ada director pun ada we can ketua eksekutif ke so you have to you kena check who do you want to present and then compose your presentation then you prepare lah you punya presentation tadi then the next step is to complete kan lah revise your message master your delivery if I kalau cakap you master delivery ni you practice dulu banyak kali ha, practice depan television pun boleh eh sorry practice depan cermin pun boleh apa pun boleh lah ya uh, prepare how to speak practice first eh, before you do the presentation okay 
analyze the situation and get the information. So now analyze the situation and get the information. Yeah. Uh, saya dah sebut sikit tadi ya yeah, define the purpose of representation ya yeah, uh, to inform to persuade ya yeah, uh, then develop profile of your audience uh, jadi ni more detail lah tadi ada sebut kan size and composition macam saya cakap tadi lah kan berapa orang yang nak present depan berapa orang depan satu group ke ya yeah, dan composition dia terdiri terdiri dari siapa manager ke supervisor ke Uh, general worker ke, itu masuk dalam composition uh, then the audience reaction, audience ni orang yang akan uh, menengok you lah yeah? uh, then audience level of understanding uh, then you kena tengok, kalau audience orang yang akan mendengar you presentation tu, apa dia punya understanding masuk sini, background of dia punya knowledge, atau punya study uh, katalah macam saya lah kalau nak buat presentation to student senang lah kan, because all We like lecturers present to a student Your background are all school level Daripada sekolah saja. But if I want a presentation to student To parent uh, To government officer misalnya Yang nak datang kepada my college to listen my presentation uh, Then I have to make sure the I know I kena, kena evaluate the understanding of these people Student macam mana What is the understanding? Parent, how is the understanding? Government officer from education department ni, how is the understanding? All these people, different different level of knowledge or education. Definitely, I have to think to prepare my presentation that all these three section of people, student, parent and government officer tu, can understand my presentation. If I presentation too easy maybe to the student then maybe another ibu bapa tadi doesn't understand because is their level is not the level of their children punya understanding or the government officer. Uh, this is what we call lah. You can go detail lah in the class but this is what we call it audience level of understanding that you must be prepared to make a survey and kaji. If not your presentation will not hit the right people and the right mode okay yeah uh, and the scene of the circumstances uh, where are you going to prepare the presentation in the hall or now maybe online uh, so all these things you have to uh, make preparation select the right medium okay uh, choose the best medium delivering a presentation including handouts and supporting material uh, kalau kita macam student Presentation to student. Lecture lecture ni mengajar student pun macam presentation juga lah. Oral presentation. So what we do? Let's say we present to you. We give you lecture note. We give you slide. We give you videos. That is all our medium of our presentation. Yeah. Okay lah. Maksudnya we work medium of what tadi macam yang cakap tadi lah. Dalam kelas we give you whiteboard lah. Hand out lah. Kalau sekolah lu dia bagi hand out lah. Flip chart. Yeah. All kind of thing lah. Uh, so, depend on your presentation and currently banyak orang people are using more uh, multimedia kind of presentation. Okay. People don't use any more flip chart. Uh, people don't give you more handouts. But we people give you the soft copy first. Email to you first. WhatsApp to you first. Okay. So, time change now. You have to change the medium of your presentation. Future we don't know macam mana lagi. Yeah. Okay, uh, overhead transparencies. Okay, uh, you will have this uh, advantage. Uh, easy to prepare. Does not require latest computer projection. Uh, OHP never crash. Uh, ini kita pakai overhead high apa tu lah? OHP tu kan? Yang kita uh, buat tu. Uh, so this is very easy sebab dia don't use internet dia tak ada bagi line kan there's no need internet connection they never crash so this is one advantage pakai overhead transparency that is normal dulu when you see in school days lah kan 
but there are disadvantage limited display impossible to edit one printer uh, used to lose sekolah pakai macam tu lah but now we have current trend apa ni current trend now electronic presentation uh, easy to update edit sound photo ini yang kita buat presentation through website lah ya yeah? So this is advantage, disadvantage lah, yeah. Uh, but you sometimes now no choice. Everybody doing electronic presentation. Uh, you can't be using anymore overhead transparency again. <laughs> People will say you sudah out of date, sudah lapuk pula, yeah. But we still teach you lah what they have in the past, and you still can use it. But what are the advantage and this whiteboard? Uh, ni papan putih lah, yeah. This normally we use in school lah. Now, so jarang pakai lah. Now we use all electronic. And now, same thing. People give you notes, everything. This usually the schools. Even all we all uh, uh, in colleges, all we we use so the same thing. Uh, but now, as I said, it's more electronic. Yeah. Flip chart. Uh, any flip chart ni biasa lah. Same thing. Another thing. Very to technology. They just slip one paper to another. Yeah? Chart. Chart depan tu lah. Like whiteboard. Like blackboard lah. Tapi they flip chart. Chart. Chart tu berdiri. They just flip. Now you tak tengok lah. Because it's not more people use lah. Uh, you want to see how maybe you can go to the internet and and Google flip chart. Uh, maybe they show you how to do flip chart lah. But now no more using lah. Currently as I said the trend is electronic. Organizing, organizing, organizing presentation. So, number satu, you must define your main idea. Main idea ni, people, if the boss as you present on the problem, so the, what is the problem? Uh, that is the main idea. Uh, limit your scope. Ha, don't talk too much of problem. If the, just now, for example, the problem is late comer. Uh, just focus on late comer only lah of your section. Out 8 out of 10, datang lambat. Uh, so, limit only on that. Don't talk too many, yeah, because that is only a problem that you are asked to present. Choose your approach, okay, direct for receptive audience, indirect for audience that might resist your idea. So direct, we just talk to direct, but indirect, you have to think other ways to argue with them, to those people don't uh, accept your idea directly. So you have to think how to approach your presentation. Prepare outline, okay, all these things lah. Is straightforward. Please discuss further lah in your class. Ah, ini ada lah yang saya cakap ni. Saya dah cakap banyak but it's also here in the notes introduction. Uh, how you want to do reaction. Uh, this one I think you the lecturer you go through in the class. This is more detail. Yeah? Straightforward. Nothing much for me to really want to explain. And then. Okay, the next step, the body. Uh, the main point, apa yang you nak sampaikan. Uh, so, all these things yeah, can discuss in the class. Be interesting for you to discuss. Because it's straightforward. Nothing for me to explain. How to present language-wise, body language-wise. Yeah? You need to smile. Pakai baju, how you want to dress up for your presentation. All this, yeah. Is important. Please discuss with them in the class and share your thoughts. Yeah. Have tips of keeping audience interested. Uh, Musta important because if your presentation very gloomy, uh, you can see people start sleepy, ngantuk. Uh. Uh, some of them may even sleep. Yeah, especially your presentation is long. Yeah, uh, so how to make them awake? Jangan tertidur. Uh, what's the tip? Uh, these are the tip. Discuss, discuss further in the class. Yeah, it's all the tips lah. Interesting. Lecturer will give you maybe practice with you how to do these tips. Yeah, They're straightforward. Nothing much to explain. Okay, well then you have your closing, plan your closing carefully so that your audience live with your main ideas and price their mind. Uh, Musta, closing, when they closing, you must 
understand what is your main things that you want to present on that day. If the problems, what the main problem that you manage to highlight to them, they don't have to remember the whole thing what you say. Yeah. So the main ideas or the main points or the main problems or the main issue that you want to present today. So you must restating your main points. Uh, yeah, you gonna closing to you gonna ex, uh, restate back your main issue that you want to to for them to understand. Uh, because the whole time they've been listening one hour, two hour, three hour, whatever thing, they start forgetting a lot of things that you you say. Uh, this is where you have to restate back. Uh, re-emphasize back the main point that you want them to uh, understand the things otherwise the presentation is a failure because when they go up their mind doesn't uh, have any main point that you want to uh, sampaikan kepada mereka and then your presentation is a failure describing the next step what is the next action? Uh, once you already tell them the main point or the main problem or the main issue or the main situation, and uh, then what is your recommendation? What is your suggestion for the next action? Uh, Sometimes the managers, your bosses, that's where the, the uh, listen, want to listen very carefully because that's where the action they have to take, not you to take. You just only suggest to them. Uh, normally this part, uh, those people who listen, are the one they are very attentive to know uh, this is very important you must keep short and sweet and uh, summarize your suggestion don't tell long story that they don't understand what is your suggestion is all about okay then i uh, ending on a strong note uh, what do you mean here in a strong note conclude with quote uh, a call for action or encouraging word kadang-kadang uh, you have to get quote from other known people what is the things that they have done in the past to solve this problem how they have done this solve this problem uh, so this is how you end your your closing note so that uh, the audience will remember and your presentation has done complete very successfully okay so delivering your message, delivery how to present yourself and material to the audience. Make sure all the material are clearly uh, present with more colorful or kind of things. Yeah, you can go to the Google and see how people present. Uh, you see how the things they're doing it. Now very easy. You just can go on Google and see how the people present. Most important part of your presentation is opening. Okay, must be convincing lah, macam macam tadi. Yeah. If they're not convincing, they don't understand, then your presentation is a failure. Yeah. Delivery can be verbal, vocal and non-verbal. Non-verbal ni body language lah. Uh, cara you cakap tu vocal, same time, you can use your body language. You can see in the presentation how people present. Not only talk, but they don't talk like robot. They are American. Uh, that's why in future, you can ask robot to do presentation. Although we can use Certain thing we can replace by a robot, but we still need a human touch, the body language, yeah? your smile, your looks. That sometimes will add people to understand better your things that you want to uh, them to understand. Rather than maybe robot present only you talk, but there's no non-verbal presentation. So, okay, how confident are you to be presenting in front of a crowd now? Uh, yeah, so we already give you a lot of uh, guideline. Uh, yeah. Mastering art of delivery. Uh, delivery ni katanya presentation lah. Bukan dia pergi hantar barang, no. Delivery. Uh, so, you to... For you to master how to present uh, to suit yeah? uh, Memorizing number one. Uh, this is the difficult part. Yeah? Uh, so you have to memorize what you will present. Memang you the chart, memang you the slide, kind of things. 
Tapi your memorizing of the subject matter is very important. That's where, that's why before this we were talking practice, practice. So cara you memorize the best way is to practice. Practice in front of the television. Practice in front of your adik beradik so they tengok. Practice in front of your parent if your parent can help you. Uh, so when you practice, then you start memorizing what you want to present. Yeah? Uh, reading. So reading, yes, you can read from the notes or the the chart or the slide that you're going to present. But you cannot be reading word by word in the presentation. People will, will be boring. Bukan salah. It's not totally wrong. But then people say you're not ready. You don't under, you don't even remember anything. You don't even memorize anything. Everything you read, what everything you read from the slide, uh, then. Your presentation may look very ugly lah. People don't like it. So, it can be a fail. If your boss see you, maybe he said that you're not capable lah. Uh, so, when you present without reading, uh, you're, you're much more will be appreciated by the audience. Yeah? Uh, speaking from notes, yes. Selain so, by the reading, you can prepare, prepare notes to your uh, slide. And then you can speak using the notes that you have to write on the slide. That can also, but then you cannot be totally read from the notes also lah. Yeah. Impromptu speaking, yeah, this is where when you start memorizing, sometimes you will start impromptu speaking. That means you will add uh, your own words. You will present in your own words, not on the what you write in the uh, slide or in the uh, chart too. Yeah. Uh, okay, so avoid memorizing, yes. Bukan kata avoid memorizing ni, you totally no need. I mean, you can't memorize, you need to memorize. Yeah? Uh, reading, so you delivered a technical or complex presentation, you may want to read. Uh, reading tadi, uh, see some charts, some graphs, uh, some uh, statistic yang ada di inside your chart simulation then you may have to read it you cannot remember all the figure kan mathematical figure kan statistic uh, so you have to read you can read yeah uh, speaking from notes making presentation with help of an outline uh, so kita dalam presentation to your your uh, slide so then you put some we call it notes uh, so we call that speaking notes yeah uh, so you can use it or you can also write the notes in a piece of card uh, cardboard card or whatever card note ke, notepad ke uh, then you can read from the notepad as your presentation or the card in your hand uh, uh, so that that one we call it speaker notes so you don't look at the presentation that you present but you look at the notes at your hand that you going to speak this is where to add you in case you forget uh, you kalau you tengok dalam TV and uh, YouTube TED TED ya yeah, TED uh, you type TED presentation uh, you see how they present they present and then how they look at the notes at the hand to present very interesting ya yeah? uh, impromptu avoid speaking unprepared unless you are well versed in the topic yes you can uh, speak impromptu tapi if you not uh, well versed on the topic better not uh, then you topic say one thing, you talk different thing. Yeah? Tips so for overcoming anxiety. Uh, sometimes it's anxiety. I as so old as this age. Also sometimes when you want to do presentation over big number of people, over public, still you find anxiety. Anxiety. Yeah? Uh, how you feel anxiety? Uh, sometimes eh, kalau you, you rasa lah in front you presenting somebody, you rasa at your at your dada ni eh, macam like grip tu, like grip like macam ni, eh, grip lah macam rasa takut, ha, that we call it anxiety lah, ha, for me lah that's called anxiety, always you rasa macam tertekan ha, tertekan eh, at your heart, at your dada ni eh? ha, that we call anxiety so you, you need to avoid that anxiety sebab when you feel that anxiety tertekan, ha, then Sometimes you difficult to talk, you forgot what the point that you want to talk, all kind of thing. So to avoid that, know your subject very well. Uh, know your subject very well. For me, the presentation, you must prepare your own. When you prepare your own, 
you go word by word, then you know the subject very well. You will ask your friend to prepare, or you prepare with your friend certain thing that you don't prepare yourself, then you don't know the subject very well. That is very dangerous. So preparation, my suggestion, you must prepare yourself. Then you, as far as concerned, once you prepare yourself, then you know the subject very well. And then rehearse. Rehearse tadi, I check up lah. You can rehearse in front of your mirror. You can rehearse in front of your friends first. In front of your, uh, your, 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 your brothers and sisters first. Ask them to comment. Or even your parent lah. Kalau your parent can help you, no harm. Yeah. So, release your nervous by energy. By take a deep, resilient breath. Tense and relax muscle. Uh, hope the lecturer can practical practice it with you in class lah. Yeah. Uh, do the best as you can lah. Uh, yeah. In the handling question. Yeah. After the presentation, uh, they sure people want to ask you. They don't understand what presentation or more want to more clarify on your presentation. So, uh, uh, hints for the handling question. No more about the topic. That what you present to the audience, yeah? anticipate areas where the question you might arise. Yeah. So, selain the uh, the topic you want to present, you must read more lah on the subject matter. Uh, that's what we're trying to say. So that when people ask more, uh, you can also uh, answer because you have read more wider on the subject matter. And uh, that's what we mean here on the topic. You try to read more. So that when people ask, you can answer not only what you have prepared, but also outside that you have prepared, which is connected to the subject matter. Yeah. So anticipate areas, the question you might arise, you may anticipate. You sometimes also when you present, what do you think people will ask a question? Uh, that's we call you anticipate. Then you prepare the answer also. Lah, or you find the answer of course. Lah, yeah. Then you must invite them to ask question. Uh, to make sure that people understand what your presentation, you must ask them, invite them to ask question. Then from that question that they ask, then you know whether they understand your presentation or they're sleeping with your presentation. Okay. Listen, understand and question carefully. Make sure when they ask question, listen, understand carefully. Because you don't listen, understand carefully, question carefully. They ask one different thing, you will reply with different thing. Very embarrassing. Malu lah. Yeah? Uh, repeat or rephrase the question for the whole audience to hear. Sometimes people ask you question, uh, sometimes not very clear. So you, as a presenter, repeat again. Okay, your question is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, correct? Uh, so when you said that, everybody in the room, again, listen one more the question that been asked on by somebody on the floor which may not very audible ataupun tak terang yeah? direct long winded members to the point sometimes there are people asking question they talk the whole thing so long the question still you cannot find a question so these people will start asking talking too much then you say that please what is your question we just know one question you don't have to uh, say too much because, you know, time is unlimited or other people also want to ask questions. Uh, don't allow them to talk half an hour. Uh, then they are presenting, not you presenting, kan? If they can talk more than half an hour. Avoid letting one member dominate. Okay, so make sure in the meeting, no, only one person will, the same person will ask question, ask question. Uh, don't. So normally we will say that, okay, those who ask question. Uh, uh, we don't. We we allow other people to ask question. Not the same people who ask so many questions. Then they will dominate the whole thing, and then the whole thing may go haywire. Yeah, will follow what this guy is uh, talking about. Yeah, not the whole presentation that you want to uh, deliver to the people or the audience. Or the Okay, reason, reason your presentation, I said today, why, why you have to research? To become familiar with the material and the organization. To become familiar on the subject matter that you're going to present. Yeah? To check time of delivery, yes. They give you, let's say, you deliver, we give you 15 minutes to deliver. So when you rehearse, then you know 
whether your preparation or your presentation is within the 15 minutes or more then you can cut down lah or whatever tak cukup you increase lah yeah? to improve uses of virtual support of course when you do races you must see whether your virtual support your electronic uh, gadget are all in order very clear not clear or blue or all kind of things so you need to check during your presentation or during your rehearsal so that you can get it corrected during your presentation uh, so improve your delivery style Sometimes you you already presses two or three times, you feel comfortable. Uh, then you can start to improve your delivery style, body language, presentation, all kind of things lah. Yeah, to make it more attractive to people to listen to you. Yeah, rehearse in front of audience. As I said just now, you can rehearse in front of your father, or mother, rehearse in front of your friends or uh, brothers and sisters. Can uh, rehearse with visual. So make sure you use actual rehearsal uh, with visuals or whatever things you need the actual you want to do to the presentation watch your performance in front of mirror uh, if possible video tape or your performance uh, last time tak ada video tape you rehearse in front of mirror lah uh, very popular last time singer penyanyi penyanyi when they rehearse in those days they rehearse in front of a mirror in the toilet maybe yeah <laughs> there's a place they can rehearse and nobody disturb them but now we have many ways you can videotape first through your smart handphone or kind of thing and look back all the presentation much much easier now compared to in the past yeah tips for preparing presentation slides yeah okay creating effective slide can be challenging yeah because you want to create presentation that are attractive with compromising your message yeah. so slide cannot just be black and white you must have all kind of other attraction to put down there. Uh, cartoon lah, apa lah. Eh? So that it will attractive. Not just word black and white. Very soon after your fourth slide, fifth slide, people start sleepy already. Right now. Uh? Accuracy and simplicity are keys of effective visual. Make sure what you want to present. Accurate information. Make it simplify. Simplify simplicity so that easy people to read and understand. All your audience can understand, not the really learned will learn, or understand, but those people we have not learned, they cannot understand. Uh, all this you have to think of. Yeah? Uh, one biggest mistake uh, you can make is to overload them into information. Uh, your slide uh, cannot too many. For example, in our lecture, I told my staff the slides not more than 25 slides per lesson, per class, with all the slides. Don't you prepare slides until 30, 40 slides to present to the class. The student will all be sleeping. They don't even understand in the end of the day what you teach. So with too many slides we give you in the class, we call it overload. When overload, sometimes it will be negative. That in the end, you don't understand what we are teaching because too many. That's why we have just now learning outcome. Uh, this is what we want to teach. Your our presentation is only based on the learning outcome. No more than that. Yeah. So tips preparing presentations. I continue. Okay. Readable. Uh, are the font too large? Can they be seen? Uh, you must practice. Yeah. When you do representation, you see. You must go to the hall there. You see on the on the stage. You put down whether people from the down can read or not the your presentation. That's another thing. You put two small words, people downstairs cannot read. They just only listen to what you say. Then also may not be effective. Yeah? Consistent colors and design are used consistently. The slide, your presentation, all the electronic must be consistent. Yeah? It's not be too distracting. Lah. Yeah? Simple, should sign function be suggested by chart. Certain thing you need to explain, use by chart, use explain by chart. Easy people to, to understand. Yeah? Rather than we explain through word, sometimes it take a long and they still don't understand. Then your time maybe even uh, don't have enough time to do representation. Audience centered are design elements such as animation, clip, appropriate for audience. Itulah. You put animation, cartoon, everything there so they will attract the audience. They call it audience centered. Clear? Is the main point easy to understand? Again, as I said, what is the main point that you want to deliver? This is the main point that you must highlight during your presentation. 
The rest you can be just additional information. Focus does the slide support the key point of your message. Uh, just now I said when you want to do uh, presentation on late comers, uh, your slide whether you have shows who are coming late, what time they are late, and uh, what's the main problem of their lateness, uh, all these main points must properly highlighted so that people understand the problem. Fully operational, does all the animation or special effect work? Uh, Sometimes you put all the animation and everything, but when you do presentation, it does not work. So it looks very bad. So make sure you rehearse. Uh, this is the tip lah, and check everything is workable before the day of the presentation. Okay. When writing contact for the text slide, uh, important, limit each slide to one thought, concept, idea. So in one slide, cannot be too many things. Maybe one or two things or thoughts or idea that you put inside there. Cannot be one slide, you put 10 ideas, uh, then nobody can really focus on what you are saying. Limit the content to about 40 words, not more than 6 lines. Uh, again, this is the guideline, yeah? you must make sure. Write short bulleted phrases. Uh, you do the bullet point. Yeah, we call it bullet point. Uh, make sure your slide is easy to read and also on. Uh, yeah. Okay, to include short title, whatever. So all these things need to use in the presentation to make it effective. Okay, background design artwork. Yeah, uh, you must have a good. Background, stay background and compete with the foreground. Uh, this is all the slide lah. We're talking about the slide when your presentation. Clustered or flashy background tend to distract message. Uh, it's too goggy kita kata kan. Terlalu banyak color-color. And then people cannot read your word down there. They distract. And then that is bad slides. Yeah? Uh, if your company have a standard design, use them. Uh, kalau ada standard, just use company design, at least people will know. Let's say McDonald's, uh, they put the McDonald's design logo and color there. Everybody know. You put the color, even they don't put McDonald's name there, we know this is McDonald's. Contoh lah. Eh? Uh. Artwork is either functional, chart, diagram, or could simply to enhance look. Uh, this artwork is just additional lah. Uh, we put, let's say, icing and the cake lah. You got the cake already, just put icing here and there uh, to make it look nice. The cake is still the cake lah. Uh, here, what you when you want to deliver, the point is still there. The rest are just uh, untuk cantik lah. Decorative we call it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. We use decorative art artwork sparingly, not too many. Yeah. Uh, we add art decorative work in the slide sparingly, not too much. Yeah. Uh, use script chart only it makes. Uh, okay, if you want to use script chart, yeah. Phone and style, is it? You know phone, you know, whether you use 14, 16, normally presentation, we use 14, 14 punya phone lah, yeah. Uh, a white script or two decorative fonts. Uh, one font, there's so many decorative fonts. Too, too many decorative fonts, sometimes they don't understand also the, the, the phone punya words. Uh, then it's bad also. Uh, limit fonts to one or two power slide, okay. For thinner font, use bold face type. Uh, you darken it lah. Make it dark. So that people can see it from far. Yeah? Uh, avoid all the italized type lah. Yeah? You know italized kan? Yang slanting type tu, we call it italized lah. Slanting word, slanting word tu, to avoid lah. For presentation, it's not that good lah. Yeah? People don't use italized presentation word. Yeah? Avoid all capitalized word and phrases. Uh, cannot be your presentation all capital word. Cannot. And also phrases, no need, yeah, because presentation, a slide, you need to be very concise, short, and perfect. Yeah? Be consistent uh, with font style, yeah, all these things. Yeah? Arial are the best choice for font. Uh, biasa kita pakai Arial lah, normal all computer pakai Arial kan, E R A L. Yeah, so for presentation, we advise you to use Arial lah, yeah. Adding animation special effect, okay, this all can be add on lah. Eh? Uh, no big issue. Transition in builds, transition control how the slide replace another. Uh, yeah, macam macam cara ada sekarang. Ni. How to to slide changing lah, uh, many ways. They already 
you have all the software you can use it lah how you want to be doesn't matter yeah okay effective handouts uh, okay sometime you do presentation you still give an out it's okay uh, it's okay but uh, normally in practice we give the handouts after representation because if during representation you give handouts everybody reading handouts they don't bother even to look you at the stage to do presentation very bad so handout normally we do we give after the presentation in case they don't understand they still can read the handouts again yeah the notes handouts offer the additional information on your topic yes handouts include uh, okay normally the handouts will include all your slide and some notes that you have right lah, for them to read at home and understand further uh, on your yeah so okay that's end of the lecture and then the in summary is it the i same thing we focus back again what we to teach you so that this is the one that you have to focus and concentrate the rest what we talk you want to add on is okay but this you must understand first yeah if not we fail as a lecturer today and you also fail as a student today because we teach but you don't learn yeah understand the different type of presentation uh, able to prepare research topic thoroughly of presentation uh, really explain able to deliver presentation effectively uh, wise choice of visual all these electronic gadgets aids lah. effective handling question uh, how to effective handling question you must also read the topic widen the knowledge of the topic organizing material for activating presentation we have the teachers now how the slide to be prepared, present accordingly, so that yeah, uh, you will captivize the people when you present, so that they don't go to sleep, or they don't go to the toilet, or they feel sleepy, or kind of thing. Okay, thank you very much. So please proceed with the uh, lecture or more in the class. Thank. You.